Hello there everyone and welcome to Europa Universalis 4. This is a um, civilization taken to the next level. A history simulator if you will. Uh, grand strategy as it's also known. <sighs> a challenging game which has caused me no end of grief over the last little while. Um, in fact, just give me one second here. There we go. Sorry, just had to fix something. So, we are going to play as Castile, and we are going to do it right. Uh, full disclosure right now. Um, I have played this a few times. I have failed a few times miserably, uh, mostly due to <sighs> overextending myself horribly. So I really want to play, ideally, in an ideal world, I would play the colony game. Let's see, are you my rival? Yeah, of course you're my rival. Okay. So in an ideal world, I would knock down Portugal and ally with Aragon here. But under the circumstances with the way things have gone in the past, I'm going to have to ally with Portugal and deal with them later. Portugal is going to be a problem. Um, their colonizer... I was going to play the colonization game, but the honest truth is, and I, I still do intend to get a colony going at some point, but the honest truth is there's way too much that has gone wrong for me here in, in this region between Aragon and um, Portugal. It's just, just nasty. So let's see, what would it take to get an alliance with you? They hate me. They hate me so much, it's not even funny. Okay, so forget that. Navara, join my fold. Rather me, I'd rather have it, it be mine than his. And Austria, you're not that interested, but we could probably get you. Morocco. Or Tlemkin. Yeah, there we go. You, wow, you really dislike me. Holy smokes. We're allied to, Port of course, we just allied Portugal. Okay, well, so much for that plan. Let's see, is there anybody else here who would actually be useful to me uh, for keeping things alive? They, no, we're just going to have to work with them. They're going to have to be our allies. That's just the way it's going to have to be. I, was, I really would love to knock them down a tick or two, but since that isn't going to happen... Um, we need them as an ally. And hopefully we can keep them as an adequate ally. So as to not have to worry about... Alright, we'll royal marry you. I want, I want this guy as um, my vassal. My instinct is we are going to be going to war with Aragon relatively soon. So I'm not even going to waste my time with them. In fact, let's get some power projection going on here. We'll make Aragon my rival. We'll also rival Morocco. So I think my goal now is to take Africa. I want to take these guys out. So we're going to rival... Um, I do not want to get involved in the mess up there with the Hundred Years' War between France and England, which is, by the way, where we are in time right now. And France generally wins that. Let's rival Tunis. They hate me anyways, so why not? And then we will... Embargo. You embargo Morocco. And then in a moment we will embargo Tunis as well. There we go. That's a nice little bit of power projection going on there. Mission. Royal marriage with Navarra. Well, that's what I was about to do anyways. That'll get me some fast... Uh, 
need to wait till January 2nd to do this. Okay, hold on. Before we go any further, we need to go through a few more jobs. We need to focus on administrative power, and we need a few guys. Production efficiency, yearly prestige, or stability cost. Production efficiency. On the diplomacy, diplomatic front, we've got trade efficiency. Hey, trade. And on the military front, we've got manpower, reinforce, ooh, reinforce speed. Um, let's see, the manpower modifier will increase the total base value or, yeah, we'll go with manpower because that's been a problem for me in past games. Okay, moving on down the list. Diplomacy we're working on. We're going to offer them a royal marriage in a couple minutes here. Our army, let's reduce the maintenance on that until something happens. Fleet maintenance, we'll keep it full because we're going to get our small ships. Go home at war, protect trade in Sevilla. And we're going to get more guys going on that. And then the rest of these guys we'll keep in port for now. Now let's see, next job. We need to make some more um, light ships and heavy ships. So we'll make another early carrot there, and we'll make two barks here. And we will use those to continue improving our trade. Now what are we doing with trade? Let me show you the trade system here. Trade is pushed around through these corridors, and right now we are redirecting trade through Sevilla through, from Sevilla to my home node, which is right here, which I currently have 35% of the power in. And we're redirecting trade from Africa, it looks like, to my home node. Now we only have 35% of the power in here, but that's going to go up as um, we get more ships helping out with protecting trade here. Let's see. You? What do we need? We need, let's see, well, okay. The Pope. We'll get a relationship going with the Pope here as well. Although you keep getting into wars. You got into a lot of wars the last time we played. But an alliance with the Pope would be very good because <sighs> papal influence can be used for all manner of, of valuable uh, actions. Alright, hold on. What else do we need? I'm probably going to have to go soon here, um, unfortunately. We're getting 4.96 from trade right now, and we'll be able to up that soon. We don't get any ideas. We've got a mission we're going to do in a second. We've got a mediocre... Oh, I forgot about this. We need to make a, a, a general out of our air, because in Castile we have the most useless person who's going to be leading our country shortly. And you can go lead a troop and hopefully fall on, fall off your horse and break your neck or something. Hey, look, Navarre is accomplishing our mission for us. Okay. And the question is, Austria? Austria is usually a pretty powerful ally, but Hungary might be better. You don't really want to get involved with me yet, but you're not that far away, so let's improve with you. In my relationship level, I've got two of my four relations. If I get Hungary and the Pope in, I think that might be good for now. I'll keep, keep this going just a little longer, and then we'll call the first episode done. But, no, it's... Uh, oh, we need a new mission. Finish the Reconquista, which I can't do for three more years. Improve her prestige. Nah, we're okay on that front. Honestly, this is the one we're probably going to do, and it involves retaking these three provinces. So, let's do that. <sighs> let's see. We'll just get a bit further. So, let's see, a few are embargoes. Austria is embargoing Venice. Okay. I will be back in a minute. Hey there! Sorry about the interruption. Just a little family thing. It's actually been a few hours, so let's see if I can remember what I was doing. Um, 
relations with Rome, relations with Hungary. And there's my armies, such as they are. Oh yes, I almost forgot. I almost forgot something very important. We actually do need to split. Let's see, can I split one? Let's see. Ah, uh, well, you know, we'll just hold on. There, you know what? There's a way to create a new unit. There we are. There it is. So we go boom, boom. Okay. Select this unit. What we are going to do? Um, our our leader is horrible. He's a one one two. Now those numbers indicate his administrative skill, his diplomatic power, and his military power. You think this guy's bad? Because they can get up quite high. Look at this bozo. Enrique de Trastamara, our heir. Zero, zero, zero. So, let's take our heir. There he is, right there. Did I already do this? I might have done this. He's a decent general. Enrique de Trastamara? That's the guy, isn't it? Yep. Okay, let's put him in charge of one of these uh, units here. I mean... Okay, you can go in front of that group. We'll put you in... We'll put our good guy in charge of the big army. Let's see, and we'll select the little one. March it up to Madrid. And put our very sad little heir in charge of that. Okay, let's get a few more, um, whoops, wrong set of arrow keys. Let's build a few more boats, or get a few more boats on the go here, because I want to dominate the shipping lanes today. Come on. One, two, three, four. Now, what is our naval limit? Oh, there it is, right there. Never mind. 19 of 24, and I've got a half dozen being built, I actually might wind up going over slightly. So we'll just have to deal with that sooner rather than later, that's all. Okay. So let's see, we've got an alliance with Portugal, who's pretty happy with me. What are my relationships? I can never keep track of them. Diplomacy. Relations. Improving with two people. Foiks. Yeah, so we've got royal marriage with Navarra, royal marriage with Portugal. You, I would probably be able to vassalize very soon if I set my mind to it. All right, is the Pope happy enough with me to get an alliance going here? Not quite, no. How about Hungary? Not quite, but not far. Okay, what do we have? Disputed successions. Oops, well, so much for that plan. Province improvements I could build. Oh, I could build earth ramparts down here, but I'm not going to worry about it. Truce with Granada will expire in about three years. What's my mission? What is my mission? Oh, yeah. Finish the Reconquista. I should have not have taken that quite yet, but... Oh, well, too late. Let's see. If... If we were to declare war on... I've got an idea. I've got an idea. It's going to be a little bit of manipulation, but it's something we might be able to do. See, what we need to do, you have an alliance with nobody, but by the end of the next decade, you'll probably have a, re a relationship with um, Morocco. Oh, here we go. Bark, bark, bark. And four more coming. We're going to wind up slightly over the naval limit, and I think that'll be okay. Because you guys are going to go start protecting trade. Alright, get yourselves down there. Just get time going a little faster here. Let's see what we got going on. Okay. 
Here come the last of my ships. Seven new light ships. Or seven strength flotilla. Yeah, I think that's... Yep, seven light ships. Go to home at war. Protect trade in Sevilla. Now, before we do that, 43% control. Seven more ships into there. Let's see what happens. I saw that tick up a little. Hmm. Did I not tell you to? Oh, I didn't. 43%. Come on, show me how much more I'm going to get out of this. I just added a whole bunch more ships to this. I gotta get something out of it. 48%. There you go. We earn 5.7 here. There's no privateering here. Portugal is my next closest competition. And then Granada and Morocco. Cool. And we're getting a little bit of influence with the Pope, which is cool. Let's see if we can become Korea controller. So strategy-wise, I've been thinking about this. I'd like to do colonization, but I wouldn't describe it as being a burning priority because of the way things have gone in the past when I've tried that. You're a long ways off. You will take it now. So let's get that locked in. Return. And then we'll get our alliances in place. And then we'll start getting the uh, little guy I set up for vassalization. Take it. Excellent. Military alliance. Royal marriage. Yeah, you're fine with that. That's fine for now. An alliance is a start. Oh, no, he'll take it now. Never mind. And I can send him on May 20th. Oh, or I could take their offer right now. Uh, let's see. We can gain a... We don't need a diplomatic... We've already got a Cassius Belli. So we'll save the administrative power and we'll deal with them later. Because whatever. Okay, you. What do we need for you? We need you to be happy enough with me To want to become my uh, vassal. Hold on, what happened in Austria? The Pragmatic Succession sanctions on the loom be rendered by Charles the sixth on the nineteenth of April, seventeen thirteen, and established the indivisibility of the Habsburg patrimony and ruled the order of succession by order of firstborn child, even to a woman. Made Maria Theresa, born in seventeen seventeen, the heir of the empire. Interesting. Very interesting. So it's basically about women becoming um, leaders. That's one I've never seen before. Hey, Aragon! I think you're having a peasant's revolt. How awesome is that? Keep it up. So let's see. Our force limits. We've got, yeah, we've got one more ship than we can support at the moment, but we'll fix that shortly. Let's see. The technology. Oh, let's unpause. Everything's coming along slowly, but that's okay. What could we do? What could we do? What could we do? One province improvement we don't really need, and a truce timer slowly ticking down. Cool. And what I was going to be doing was getting you up to 190. So let's get that started. Starting with sending a gift. You, no, not a gift. Sorry, never mind. Back. Right, that's not the most efficient way to do this. Württemberg versus... Um, let's transfer trade power. Will you give me some of your local trade power? Yes, you will. Whoops. We were just ins insulted by Aragon. Hmm. 
reasonable justification for a war. The question is, who would come and help you if I did that? Okay. Diplomacy. Who is your friend and who will... The Papal State will come help you and Portugal will not come help me uh, because Portugal is at a truce with Let's see, Hungary. Yeah, lots of reasons not to come in. They're threatened towards me. I need to get... All right, before I do anything with that, we need to get Navarra, my solidly locked in. Because they're decent allies. Now let's see, if I... Well, I might as well send an insult to, um, wow, they hate me. Far too rich and powerful for our warnings to be taken seriously. I've got them embargoed. Let's, well, I don't know, what could we do? We could, we could insult them. That'll give us a bit of power projection and we'll see if they're willing to take that justification. Because a defensive war is much better than an offensive war, if you have the choice in the matter. There we go. And now we'll go and improve relations with you some more. Let's see. Needs 190. Now you gave me your trade. Let's, uh, I guess we could straight up improve relations. Yeah, away we go. One diplomat improving relations. Now, hey, Pope Navarra, Papal State, would you ally me now? No. Still, they're allied to Aragon, so we've got a little more work to get that up and running. But that's okay. We can work with this. In the meantime... We should look into offer hiring just a few more troops. So let's get a few more of my own medieval infantry. Four medieval infantry and two Latin knights. And let's see, what am I doing with my maintenance? We got a new co cardinal. Okay, yeah, my maintenance is low. But we'll get a second army's worth of troops in place. Let's get you guys up in Soria. I think that'll be okay. Actually, let's split you. And put half of you there. Oh. oh, let's head all of you. Let's head all of this up here. Now we need our good guy, our good leader in charge of the primary army. We've got two, we've got one large army and one medium sized army. Let's get these guys merged together. We'll, uh, no leader this one. We will assign no leader to this one. You get Mr. Awesomer. You get Mr. Not So Bad. But we're going to try and keep them together during major sieges. But I think we might be able to take them. Wow, they really hate me. But that's okay. Good power projection out of it. Yo, dude, how you doing? Got a long ways to go. The Pope might be getting close to actually wanting to ally me. Not yet, nope. They're going to need to be up in the... Uh... Well, let's see, assuming it scales linearly, linearly, we'll need to be about 150 with... Sorry. Uh, about 118 or so with the Pope. 
And you're up to 142, which is excellent. Okay, he's got 12 plus 1 troops there. How long are you truced with... You're not truced with Aragon anymore. Well, let's uh, see if the Pope was to accept my overtures. We're going to barely get enough to get an alliance from the Pope, I think. 66, 67 to negative 70. It's going to be tight. It's going to be very tight, but we should see papal opinion about Castile. Really? That didn't actually tick up as much as I would have hoped. Wow. So that's not getting any better, is it? That is terrible. Oh, they're up to negative two reasons. I wonder how much more I can improve. Five more. It's going to be touch and go to actually get this. Oh, good. I did remember to do that. Excellent. Pope, please. I could really use you as an ally. But I don't think it's going to happen. Three more to get plus two more reasons. Oh, our truce, let's see, pro Habsburg, neutral, okay, let's see, what is this, the pragmatic succession, making Maria Habsburg patrimony, yeah, go for it, it's Granada, we can declare war on Granada now? Yes, we can. They've got a truce with Portugal until 1499, and likewise with Aragon. And I'm going to guess that you're not going to be willing to join me on this one. One more for the Pope. We'll let him finish up, and then we'll go and attack. Let me see. Do you have any alliances? You are allied with Morocco. So if I was to convince you... To go look. Okay. I've got to play this carefully. I've got an idea. So the million dollar question is okay, that's as good as our improvement with the Pope is going to get. Will you. You will not take an elect. A gift. A gift. Get back here, you. We'll send him a gift. That'll remove our relations by... We'll, we don't need much. Okay. Now will you accept an alliance? Yes, you will. All right. That's good enough. And in April, we'll send our um, alliance offer to the Pope, and we'll be ready to go to war. And we'll see if we can manipulate events to our advantage. Send that to the Papal States. Done and done. Okay, what's going on here? Morocco, what are you up to? Are you in a war? You are in a war. Okay. This is promising. So if I was to declare war on you in two days, Morocco could come to their aid and nobody will come to mine simply because of distance. So if I was to attack Morocco, Portugal, okay, we'd have Mazab, Tunis, and Granada join on their side. We'd have Portugal join on our side. <sighs> Will that help me? I don't have a Cassius Belli against uh, Aragon, or against them. I do against Granada. So Morocco's the only one who would come, and they're not really decisive involvement. Although they do have a pretty solid fleet there, so I would want to keep myself in my port. Navarra, how much more do you need? You're at 160? How much would I get if I sent a gift to you? I'd really like to get that job done. 25? 160, 185? Yeah. 
let's do that. We can't get more than 25, but if I send that and then wait a few more days, our improvement to 190 will almost be done and we can turn you into my, my vassal state. Okay, let's see. Rightful claims, lose prestige. Disorder? Nah, I don't need disorder. I can do without prestige. I mean, prestige is important, don't get me wrong. I, I know I look at that as somewhat of a um, free mechanic, but realistically, it's quite important because it affects your um, everything. Global trade power. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's a hard number to keep high, let's just say. So I think that's going to wrap up this episode. Uh, I'm going to get my, my first vassal in place. Hello there, Navara. Welcome to the party. Okay. So with that done, that's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed. It's time to attack Granada. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.